Cube. You're with AJ and Robbie for this Thursday drive on 94.7 The Pulse. But on the line right now, we've uh, had a chat to her once before over the phone. She joins us again on the phone. It's local singer-songwriter Jo Dawson. Good afternoon, Jo. Hi, how are you going? Going well, yourself? Ah, uh, you know, I'm struggling along on a Thursday. Now, we're just chatting off air. You've been uh, practically non-stop since we last chat chatted. I have. I've been flat, flat chat, which has been fantastic. So, um, yeah, since I spoke to you last, which would have been February, I think, when we played down there at Benders. Yes, that was uh, as part of the UMI yes. big tour. Yes, which was awesome. It ended up being a fantastic show. So it was it was great to be able to chat to you guys beforehand. I think a few a few listeners came down and had a bit of a look. Excellent. Now, uh, also, you've been shooting a video. Yeah, we've um we've been shooting a few bits and pieces actually. Um, I wanted to shoot about four. We shot four songs. Um, so it's not like a music video that you'd probably be thinking like rage MTV type thing. What I'm wanting is um what I wanted was some stuff for our website and YouTube and that sort of thing. So we've got some online stuff that people can check out what we're like and um, we're also putting together a little live DVD so um, it'll be hopefully something that yeah people can take home like buy at gigs and you know watch us on the big screen in their lounge rooms <laughs> or the biggest screen that we've been on so far which would probably be someone 60 inch plasma or something. Now Joe, can you uh, give us a sneak peek at what uh, that video that appears on the website what those videos appear on the website are, are maybe contain and also what the DVD will contain? I can give you an idea. I'm not going to give it all away. Yes. There's going to be... Well, the, the song that you've been playing in there, Bad Behaviour, is one of the tracks. Um, so we've recorded that one, and we also recorded three others. And the other two... Two of them are songs that we've been recording for the new album that's coming out later in the year. And one of them is called Messed Up, and the other one is called Criminal, which is a killer, killer track. And we've recorded one more, which is a secret for now. It's um, we've recorded a cover, so I'm just um holding that one close to my chest at the moment. But um, in the not too distant future, all will be revealed, and you will hear the cover that we have decided to do. Um, and we're really excited about it. So yeah, um, the four tracks are going to be um available online like they'll, they'll be for free but we're just going to put them all onto a dvd so people can take them home if they want to you know listen in high quality and watch in high quality and i don't know make them available for a couple of bucks at gigs and that sort of thing um but we'll put all four tracks onto onto one dvd otherwise people will be able to go to youtube or whatever and just check them out at home it's great for you to clear that up because i know that you've been shooting this video footage and i was sort of wondering whether that was going to be part of the cover yeah, the cover is in there. It's one of them. It's actually, and look, I don't know. I, I change my mind every day with what I'm doing. I should really just stick to it. You know what? How, how women? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? Oh, yeah, we're just laughing with you, Joe. <laughs> in, in, in support. Oh, okay. Laughing <laughs> at me, right? No, <laughs> with you, definitely with you. Uh, now, Joe. I mean, this this song, "Bad Behaviour," which I love, uh, is it's kind of. It, it's got a dark tone to it, hasn't it? Is it is it actually about events in your life, or is it just a purely random song that you just wrote out of nowhere? You know what? I kind of wish it was random, but it's very specific. And um, in fact, most of my songs are pretty pretty specific, and usually about an event or a series of events. And this one is about what's about a boy. Yep. It's about a boy that I had a bit of, bit of a soft spot for, slash was in love with, whatever. And, um, yeah, it didn't go to plan, but, you know, these things don't all the time and you learn and all of that sort of stuff. At the time that I wrote that song, as you can imagine when you listen to the lyric, it ends with, and I hate you. It does, and I, it, it's firmly imprinted in my mind every time I play the song. We'll be playing it uh, after we finish talking with you here. So uh, it, it's probably the most distinctive part of the song, I think, you know, just leaving you with those 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 words, I hate you. I mean, it's, it's really interesting. It really leaves you. It's kind of, it's really quite attacking, and hate is a really, really strong word. Yeah. And at the time that I wrote that, I was so emotionally destroyed that I, I kind of felt that way a little bit and I'm sure that I didn't ever really hate him and I can say quite honestly now I don't I don't hate anybody 
But at the time, you know when you're emotional and you're in the heat of the moment and everybody says things that they don't mean and sometimes you say things out of spite that, that are particularly, I guess, intended to hurt people when you're in that frame of mind. And from, when I songwrite, it's generally when I'm quite emotional and on this particular occasion I was, I was in a pretty dark place and um, so the, the most horrible thing I could think of ever saying to anybody would be that I hate you. And, I mean, obviously it's not true and it, I don't hate anybody and I certainly don't hate this person. I, I still have a lot of admiration and respect for this person. Um, but at the time, yeah, I, I wanted probably, I wanted him to be dead. <laughs> 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 Possibly there's always a lot of irony with your songwriting because I sort of feel that bad behaviour can set you on the straight path and uh, actually provide some cleansing. Yeah, well, you know, and that, that's the other thing. Um, there's the both sides of the coin with anything. And, you know, bad behaviour isn't, it isn't all bad. And also, when you're looking at any situation, you're, and my songs are all through my eyes. I mean, there's two... Well, no, they say there's that saying, there's three sides to every story, you know, one person's side of the story, the other person's side of the story, and then somewhere in the middle there's the truth. So, obviously, when you're listening to my stuff, you're listening to my side of the story, and I'm sure that this boy has, and he, you know, there are reasons and, you know, circumstances that I'm not aware of and all of that sort of stuff. So, to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, my stuff is so biased, Joe Dawson's way, it's, it's, unfair on the poor bugger he really should start singing and then get me back with a song and get it played all over the radio just to you know mend the damage now we know about bad behavior what about your other songs are they a bit lighter in tone or what um yeah i do have a couple of really light songs um when i say a couple i, I literally mean two <laughs> yep okay <laughs> um most of them are kind of uh, they're kind of emotional but I do have a really a great song that'll be a lighter moment on the album called Good Things which is you know celebrating all the good things in your life and then I do have one um, also that it's on the EP actually that you guys may or may do you have a copy of the EP in there have I given you one not as yet next week Joe. I'm a bad person I will give you one thank you oh well you look forward to this next week I'll give you a copy of the EP and there's a song on there called Stand Together which is such a lovely love song um it's uh, all about the positives of a relationship rather than the negatives <laughs> of a relationship so um just to, you know balance it out a little bit um but certainly i mean li listening to the, the songs that we videoed the titles of them messed up and criminal and yeah yeah that's what i was thinking <laughs> you know they've got a bit of grr about them with your songwriting do you find uh that you have your back catalogue as, as such as well or do you like to keep things fresh by continually turning over new tunes I, for the moment? I, I do kind of tend to ch yeah, write new stuff all the time. Um, I do have some bits and pieces that I've kept, you know, in case of a rainy day type thing. I guess, it, you know, if I think, oh, well, they're good enough and maybe I'll finish them one day but you know what I tend to think? If it's not coming to me right now, get rid of it. There'll be other ideas. If it's not working in the first sort of half an hour or so, I just scrap it. <laughs> and I don't tend to write things down. Like, I think if it's good, I'll remember them. If it's terrible and I forget it, well, then it wasn't really worth remembering anyway. Now, Jo, who are some of your musical influences? Um, got a, got a few. And a few people, I get asked this a lot. I don't have specific musical influences that I sit down and think I would like to write like this or have a sound like this. Um, but I do have people that did influence me from an early age, like bands that I admire and that sort of thing. And one of those, and the most probably prominent one throughout my life is being you too. Um, I really admire those guys. They've been at it forever. They are evolving all the time and they... You know, they're writing what they believe in. They are, Bono is a fantastic, fantastic storyteller and he is able to communicate so well and so clearly with an audience using really simple tools. Like, it's not fancy schmancy. You know, they're a four-piece band. More often than not, there's just four chords. Like, they're not using crazy production tricks. And I mean, they're, their shows are spectacular and they, they are very complicated and I'm not saying, you know, that what they do is not sophisticated at all. But essentially, at the end of the day, it's 
very, very good writing. And that's what it's all about. It's about telling a good story and communicating via music. And they, they're the best in the business. And they have been since before I can remember. <laughs> like, ever since I've been around, they've been doing this thing and doing it well. So that's one band that if, you know, you could model your success story on anyone, that's, that'd be one of them. And they've stayed together. You know, they haven't broken up and gone through thousands of players. And, you know, they're, they're incredible. But then, you know, my very, the very first concert I went to when I was eight years old was Cindy Lauper when she was touring. I can't believe I didn't get to go and see her again when she came recently. That would have been, what, 1990? Oh, yeah, probably about, like, yeah. today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Cindy Lauper. She was, like, very, very cool back in the day. She was, yeah. And um, who else? Oh, look, and I loved Madonna growing up. Yep. But what little girl didn't love Madonna growing up? None. Um, so I think she was obviously, yeah, someone that, although having said that, I don't really, you know, whatever, let's not get into it. <laughs> <laughs> let's not get into it, but she's, she's a funny lady, that one, I think. Fair enough. Well, you've got some great live shows coming up, and that includes one at the Bended Elbow next Thursday, and uh, Amy Meredith's on the bill as well, and also tonight live tonight alive you're looking forward to that yeah i can't wait can't wait amy meredith rock they're such a fun band they're so cool. i'm thrilled that they're coming to geelong um and the fact that we get to support them is just awesome we're so excited about the gig it's going to be fantastic another show you've got uh, lined up is at the corner hotel which i've been to quite a few times on may the 20th and uh, that is legendary that place that is such a ripper venue. We can't, we're very excited about that. Um, Red Inter launching their new single, What My Friends Say, down at the corner on the 20th. And um, that is another, you know, sensational show that we're really looking forward to. And that venue, it's massive. It's going to be fantastic. So, it'll, um, yeah, we've got lots, lots coming up. We're in supporting Trial Kennedy in June um, down in Fern Tree Gully. And, yeah, lots of stuff on the horizon to keep us nice and busy. <laughs> Well, we better let you get busy with whatever you've got planned for the rest of the afternoon, and we'll look well, forward to... i gig tonight if you want to come up to Melbourne, boys. I'm playing Elwood, the Elwood Lounge. Are you? Yeah, 8 o'clock tonight I'll be there, but I'm doing solo acoustics, so this isn't with the band, I'm ditching the boys. Fair enough. Sometimes, sometimes I leave the boys at home. Just That's you know. fair enough, yeah. Yeah, a bit, a bit problematic. Are you, are you the headline act tonight, Joe? Yeah, yeah, there's, I don't think anyone else is playing, I think it's just me. Okay, well, you'll, you'll be the headline act then. Uh, that would be me. Yeah, that sounds good. So uh, can you just say that again, where that is? Yes, the Elwood Lounge in yep. Elwood, and it's 8 o'clock. What, what's the address there? Um, I'll Google it. I don't really know what the address is. Okay. It's on the worksheet. I'll rock up. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? The Elwood Lounge is 49 to 51 Glen Huntley Road, Elwood. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty prominent road, isn't it, Rob? Yeah, Huntley yeah. Road, yeah, you can't, probably probably can't miss it. I hope I don't miss it. No, I hope I so too. But I'll be there, I'll be there. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, everyone should get along to that. What do you reckon, Rob? Yes, it'll be an outstanding show. And, of course, uh, being a fine musician, getting to play acoustically just keeps you in tune and in touch with oh, that okay. inner self. I love it. I love the acoustic shows. I love the band shows, but... You know, things like I can talk, I can just stop for a moment and explain, for example, what bad behaviour is about or, yeah. um, you know, that that sort of thing. It's You can get a lot more sort of... It's, it's more intimate. It's more intimate. There's more there's more storytelling. And in between the songs is just as, as important, I think, as the songs themselves. So get amongst it, I say. Yes, have a great uh, night tonight and with all your other shows that are coming up. We'll look forward to you coming into the intimate studios of The Pulse next week. I can't wait to come in and see you boys. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'll see you then. We will indeed. Thanks, Joe. All right. Have a great night, guys. You too. See ya. See, see ya, Joe. Thank you. So, uh, Rob,